Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another pen here, it's a Conway Stewart pen. Now there are a number of different Conway Stewarts of, uh, around. There was the original Conway Stewart which was a British company and that was uh, around from the 1920s to 2014 when it finally closed its doors. Then there was and still is Conway Stewart from bespoke British pens who basically bought up all of the rod stock uh, or a lot of the rod stock maybe not all of it uh, the the clips the finials and everything from original stock some of the machinery from the um, administrators and started continuing to make Conway Stewart pens and then there's this one and this is Conway Stewart which used to be called USA it's Conway Stewart America and this is owned by Manu uh, from ASC Pens, Wild Eversharp, uh, now the Pen family. And this is their version of Conway Stewart. So let me remove the box and I will show you the pen that is in here. So Conway Stewart in a different font and their emblem or logo. And if I remove the lid, you'll see Conway Stewart here as a pen rest few markings on this um, case it's not a great case I would say personally um, there are a number of things obviously you get the pen here you also get a Conway Stewart guarantee or warranty card which guarantees you for 18 months against mechanical failures due to faulty material or workmanship you also get this as well and this brochure shows you or gives you details about Conway Stewart, the original Conway Stewart, not Conway Stewart USA, the history of Conway Stewart, which is a British company, not an American company. And you can see there Conway Stewart workers in the 1930s, in the 1950s. Also the Conway Stewart building in London that was blitzed in, in the war. And also the new Conway Stewart Model 100, which was actually deemed to be the M100 uh, prior to the S100, which is a, a, a number or a, a model of a pen that Manu originally made. And there is Manu there. Manu has decided to try and revive the Conway Stewart USA brand, uh, brought out the Series 100 pens, which is the same as the original Conway Stewart Series 100 and also the bespoke British pens Series 100. So here you can see this is the Conway Stewart Series 100 and this is the green emerald and this is the spaghetti. Now I do have another spaghetti resin uh, in my Leonardo sand version and I do like this material a lot. I really do. And this cap finial is different than the original Conway Stewart's and Likewise, the Bespoke British Pens, it's a black finial. Now, the material is a really lovely material. It's a new material. It's not a material that Conway Stewart ever used. If I unscrew the cap, you'll see here, this has an 18 karat gold nib on there. There's no nib designation as to what width that is, and it also has an ABS plastic feed. In terms of the size of the pen in my hand, it's a good size. You can post the cap if you want to. And it does post quite securely as well. It is a cartridge converter pen, and I'll show you that here. It has some metal threads here. You also have a brass inner section there of threads. Now, I found that this was rattling a bit, and when I was uh, taking the pen apart, I noticed that that dropped out. <laughs> and what Conway Stewart, or Bespoke British Pens version of Conway Stewart used to do, still do, is on some of the resin pens, they glue a weight into the body of the barrel. Now this one isn't glued in, so it just pops in and pops out and rattles around a lot, which I'm not really a fan on and I thought well maybe it's supposed to really just put it here on top of the converter but 
again, it it's not going to stay there, and you can't twist the converter. So it's just one of these things that it just actually just rattles around a little bit in there if you're not careful. So I think that probably could have been done a little bit better. Uh, I do think that that probably should be glued in place, but I also know that some people don't actually like a weighty pen and some people like a lighter pen. So you can remove that if you wanted to, if you want a lighter pen, or you could leave it in there. It's entirely up to you. But I do like this resin a lot. It is a nice pen. So I think with that, let's measure the pen. We'll, we'll do a size check, we'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So the pen itself is about 138 millimeters in length. The cap itself is 61 millimeters in length. We'll do a measurement of the body to the tip of the tines. We are looking at around about 124 millimeters in length. So we'll do a weight check. The weight of the pen, we're looking at just under 34 grams. This is uninked. The weight of the cap, we're looking at just under eight and a half grams. And then the body, uninked, we are looking at just under 25 grams. So it's not a bad weight of a pen. And ultimately, I, I do like the material. So, from left to right, we have a Visconti Kalido Voyager in the Yellow Dawn. We have a Visconti Kalido Voyager in the Forest Green. We have a Bespoke British Pens Conway Stuart Churchill in the Blue Stardust. A Bespoke British Pens version of the Conway Stuart Churchill in the Red Stardust. A Bespoke British Pens version of the Series 100 in the Red Stardust. We have a Conway Stuart USA in the green emerald spaghetti we have a visconti divina in the desert springs we have a visconti homo sapiens and this is the bronze swirl we have a classic pens lm1 in the flame red and we have a classic pens lb5 in the calceki so let's do a writing sample we have the conway stewart USA and this is the series 100 and it's the green and it's the emerald but it's also the spaghetti if I can spell spaghetti uh, now this has the 18 cat gold nib and I would say that this is probably a medium nib going on for maybe a western board now there is no designation unfortunately on this nib so there's no way of actually telling for sure if there's nothing on the feed and nothing on the nib nothing on the sides of the nib so your guess really is as good as mine. I would say it's more of a medium nib. Now, in terms of line variation, that's the line that it puts down. Now, if I try to push the nib a bit more, I can get almost double the line variation out of this nib. I wouldn't want to push it much more than that. The nib actually writes very nicely. It's quite smooth. Has a slight Christmas crispness, I should say, on the outer edge there. Um, but other than that, it actually writes quite smooth. So if I check the ink flow on this, now this is actually using Mont Blanc Irish Green ink, which. I actually think is actually a good match for this pen color so that is a really lovely spaghetti emerald green now this is a pen that's on loan to me from John at stjohnspens.com I'd like to thank him for loaning me this pen for review 
If you haven't seen John already, go check him out at stjohnspens.com or St. John's Pens on Instagram or any of the UK or European pen shows. He does have some of these Conway Stewart USA pens available for sale. Uh, I believe he has some on his website, or if not, he will have very soon. But you can also pick them up at any of the pen shows that he goes to. So I'd like to thank John again for the loan of this pen. But for me, the pen writes very nicely, and it is a, a lovely colour pen. And I do like that spaghetti resin material. So there you have it. That's my review of the Conway Stewart USA Series 100 Green Emerald Spaghetti Pen. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.